Hello, my lovely Virgos. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. Take with fifthly the rest. This is going to be a reading for June. And this is also a channel for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. But all signs are welcome. Um, personal reading links are in the description box below. All right, Virgo, let's get into this. I'm going to do something a little bit differently for you. But first, let's start with the island time. Let's see what messages are coming out for June for Virgo for the island time. Okay, you've got camera. Oh, someone's reminiscing. They have keepsakes of you, maybe your photos. <clears throat> it is a camera. Um, someone's learning from the past. Um, we also have making memories here. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's see, maybe some of you have your camera out or you do stuff with a camera. You also have self-indulgence, focusing on self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Some of you are just like, oh, I'm looking good. Let me get a selfie. Let me take a selfie. I don't know, people even take selfies anymore? And the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. Okay, someone's definitely in, in self, <laughs> they're indulging in your pics, Virgo. <laughs> Somebody wants to change. I want to make change, evolve a relationship to the next level. All right, let's get into this reading here. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. A little. I'm going to ask some questions, try to give you some clarity. Okay, what is the current situation going on right now with Virgo and another person? What is the current situation right now? Okay, the Hierophant. All right, this is order. This is order. The situation is right now, hold on, I want to just get one, a clarifying card, but so far, right now, this is like, um, someone is, the situation is commitment, okay? The situation right now is expectations, okay? Someone has very, someone has expectations. Two people have expectations, needs that are trying to be met. In this relationship all right hold on let me just say i just let me let me throw a couple cards down and see what else is coming out here because i know some of y'all do not have a commitment but some of you are expect there's two people i feel you and this person who are expecting to meet each other's needs reciprocity give and take energy okay um if we're gonna get back together if we're gonna do this we gotta like we got to make something like you got to meet my needs and I'm going to meet yours. And that's point blank period. That's how something has to be. Okay. So the current situation right now between you and this person, I mean, it's, it looks really good. <laughs> and I know that might not make sense to you, but it, it does. It looks like really good. I see two people who are willing to commit to each other, to be happy together, to have good times and have reciprocity and a give and take in this relationship to be charitable towards each other you know um let me take a look at the past let's see what is the past energy because virgo i just i really feel like somebody here wants to be able to provide something for you and wants that in return from you okay let me take a look at the past what, did, what happened in the past okay king of cups in the past with the two of cups so you know uh, this is like some connection with the King of Cups, right? That where you two came together, you know, or uh, for whatever reason, I don't know, maybe, it's, maybe it was friendship or you both started out with a potential love start here in the past, okay? And I feel like this King of Cups still thinks that something here can actually work. Like, I feel like this King of Cups feels like you weren't meeting their need in some way and perhaps you feel they weren't meeting yours okay whichever but I feel like um, you guys made some kind of match here with the two of cups like it was mutual like you got I feel like the king of cups felt in the past that you were perfect for them that you were like there was something like you understood each other you guys came together and there was this give and take and there was this very healing energy like this is how I feel like the, how the king of cups views that the connection you know uh, or, or even just like really good friends 
you know um look at how they are so mirroring each other there there's a strong i feel like you and this person or they felt like you were their mirror they you know like they saw themselves in you in the past okay so the current situation right now the energy is to have some kind of reunion and meet each other's expectations that's what I feel like is happening right now. Even if you, because I know a lot of you are in separation from people. And even if you are, if you're not, yeah, I see good things. But even if you are, I feel like this person's, and it, it's almost as if like universe is saying, hey, this is how you guys, the only way to be together is for both of you to have this, this give and take to be charitable towards each other it's not just one person giving all the time it has to be reciprocal okay and i feel like you know you want that and this person wants that and meet like halfway do you know what i mean because like sixes are all about harmony and appreciation and i feel like a need that someone has in this relationship is appreciation to be appreciated and to be accepted for who they are without judgment or anything like that you know maybe it's the king of cups that needs that you know and you might need it as well okay so i do see um you know if that appreciation for each other in this relationship is found and there's a giving and receiving and helping each other you know it, like like i said I, like don't come at me with why well, i have been helping and i've been giving and i've been giving yeah but if you stayed and this person still wasn't giving in return then you can't blame them that's on you if that person was not returning and being reciprocal and you were doing all the giving and you stayed anyway then you can't blame them you can't it, it, it's not fair that they weren't being fair if that was the situation but if you're still in it and you're the only one giving then you need to take a step back and be like hey what am i doing hello am i the only one out here giving where is everybody at why is it just me doing everything like you got to take a look at that okay so the energy is calling for two people here to be you know giving back and forth to each other so they could be joyous and happy and come together especially as friends if anything now there is there is this energy that i am picking up that if the relationship and we'll see as we go if it doesn't progress into something more which or get better or heal okay um you may both just commit to just being friends okay so let's you know, if the expectations cannot be met on the other side, so, you know, you both might just be like, you know what, neither one of us can really make the other one meet each other's expectations or needs. So we can give a little to each other, but only in like friendship. Okay. For some of you, I will say the King of Cups was only coming in as a friend. Okay, very care because the King of Cups is very supportive, nurturing, very loving, and I don't want to hear. Well, no, your King of Cups is a narc or something like that. That that's not this King of Cups because this King of Cups is in the upright. This King of Cups was coming in very happy about the connection that you guys made in the past. Very happy about the mutuality between the two of you. Um, there is a possibility it can go forward because the current energy, what's happening right now is the only way for that to happen is if they're both, if you're both meeting each other's needs. Okay. Um, but I feel like maybe you guys met or maybe you were just friends and then, you know, the relationship needs to progress or you guys need to just like call it, call it a day. Okay. So let me see what what's what's driving all of this right now like what's the reason what's giving this relationship the power and the motivation what's driving this reading the situation between these two people okay well <laughs> number one you know there's a strong passion for each other you know um virgo you might have had this person come in just wanting to be friends and having a little lovey-dovey and then you know um you be it turned passionate you know physically a lustful kind of thing a very strong attraction um and very you might have been like you know okay yeah but i'm gonna actually need more and you might have also put this person on a bit of a pedestal that they didn't need to be on maybe you got swept away nine of wands will come in and kind of sweep you off your feet in a physical way but i feel like <clears throat> what's driving right now is the need for clarity and truth about <coughs> 
um, putting this relationship on such a high pedestal where maybe it wasn't meant to be. Do you know what I mean? Like having really strong ideas and expectations of this relationship where it might have only... <sighs> You know, Virgo, I'm, I'm not calling anybody out here. I just have to say, sometimes two people meet and there is a connection that's made. And, and sometimes one person can feel the connection and see, and this tends to happen with women, where even if the guy comes forward and is like, I, I, you know, I just want to be friends and he keeps saying it and he keeps saying it and keeps saying it. And the, and the woman sometimes will just not hear that because her feelings are so strong that she wants to turn this into more than it is and the question is is that what happened Virgo like ask yourself was or I mean because there are guys out there that will have that connection with a woman and he will be physical even with her and still not want to have more than to be friends so were you in a friends with benefits and then thought it was more that I'm not saying that's what it was I'm just kind of like hmm Virgo what happened are you being like real with yourself? Like, can you stop and ask yourself? There's even sometimes guys will say they want a relationship just to have that physical intimacy and then, you know, whatever. Or, or sometimes um, there w it will progress to a particular point and then someone changes their mind, you know. So giving yourself clarity as well, okay. Um, the and and what where it's going here is i kind of feel like virgo if this is your situation you kind of have to get clarity with yourself as well like you have all the power especially the virgo females you have all the power to you know figure out what it is you want to do if you need to call it a day if you need to say yeah we're just gonna be friends if you need to say no i was reading way too much into something here or they led me to believe but i allowed them because no one can really lead you unless you let them so a little bit of a wake-up call <laughs> with the queen of swords here with and i feel like what's driving you to listen perhaps to this particular reading without knowing what it's going to be about is for you to kind of just get some clarity and truth about you know Virgo in some regard did you put someone in a position where they never were really they never really earned did you try did you do that Virgo and it you know you don't have to say if you did or not but if you did you might have got swept off your feet in physical passion and especially for women that can tend to uh, trigger women emotionally women can tend to get more emotionally attached due to the physical and not all, guys don't often do that you know what I mean it's it's not that they're like you know men are from Mars women are from Venus I mean that's just the basic the basic thing you know um, women have a tendency I think I think women have a tendency to um, feel things a lot deeper in the sense where uh, because women are so nurturing and they're so caring they want to take care of and they want to like make something happen and they want to have that partner for life and and guys just want to go out there and fix their car they want to go to work they do want a partner they do want the same thing but they're pretty much like not as you know I don't know I think I don't know I think guys women sometimes envy guys a little bit because they have ability to just turn that shit off and just be like oh I got stuff to do <laughs> you know so what's driving the reading in this particular situation it's really just about you kind of being like well you know what I'm gonna have to come to a decision here okay because I feel like in your energy you might be thinking about this right now like you know maybe um, it just feels like a wake-up call in some way it just feels like a wake-up call in order for the relationship to work like I said there's got to be this reciprocity if you have an expectation that you want to be in a committed long-term relationship with someone and they're not um, showing that they want that too then you got a decision to make then you got a decision to make despite how you feel despite the attachment you formed you got a decision it's like because you're never going to be able to make somebody and you can trust me when I tell you you can do 80 million different kind of tactics and all that stuff if somebody doesn't want to they're just not gonna so you have to you know I feel like you you probably are in June coming to this point where it's like you know hmm, maybe it's just gonna be maybe it's just never gonna go anywhere it needs to go okay 
Yeah, so what's crowning down on you here? You got the two of wands. So this is your decision, right? It's time in June, especially if, I mean, it's now. You're at a crossroads here and you know you need to pick a lane. You, you know, Virgo, that you need to choose a path. You know, <laughs> what's that path? The path is if this person is still staying in that friendship energy with you, the path is you accept that it's that's as far as it's going to go for whatever reason, or you just turn away and say, I don't want to be friends and I don't want this relationship and I'm going off on a different path. That's the, that's the decision. Now, if this person shows up over here making some changes, then, you know, we'll see. But, um, I feel like right now, you guys, you're, you're, I feel like what's, you're, what's crowning down, which means this is coming down upon you is, hey, spirit's trying to say, hey, you need to like shit or get off the pot, Virgo, like you, you, you need to do something now because you're going to lose years upon years. Okay. Yeah. You need to seek or be in a position. Um, <laughs> some of you need to just get off this low hanging fruit <laughs> get out there and you know get that appreciation and that applause that you deserve you know someone's not appreciating you or they weren't appreciating you in the way that you needed them to to you know have something progressive like these relationships that i hear about where where it's so stalled and nobody's doing anything or one person is like just pulling somebody along trying to get them to commit or do something i mean you're in the wrong situation if that's what your situation is because any you know when people fall in love when people meet the right person they're not looking up tarot card readings they're not like trying to figure out Oh, well, how do I get, you know, this person to do this or, or that? And I'm not talking about the little things. I'm talking about to progress a relationship. I feel like, you know, sometimes people are just not capable of meeting you where you are because they've only arrived at the place that they are, you know, and you could try to like pull that donkey and get it to move. But very, you're going to, you know, who's going to suffer is you, you're going to wear yourself out. You know, and if you've been in like this stalled energy for a really long time, do yourself a favor. Don't worry about how you feel. Your feelings will take care of themselves, you know, but you got to like break some kind of chain here. If you're feeling stagnant and stuck, the energy is calling for two people to meet halfway and reciprocate this relationship so that it grows into something committed and that you're both like exclusive, not exclusive with Tom, Dick and Harry or Jane, Nancy, and I don't know, Janelle? Who the heck's Janelle? Jan uh, whoever, you know, it's got to be like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with these situationships these days, but they're just like, when I was like 16 or 17, I had a boyfriend. His mom was in like her late 40s, 50s, maybe somewhere, I don't remember, 38 maybe. And she like, her, her and her husband split up like long ago. And, um, so she had like this boyfriend and they weren't in this committed relationship. This was in like, I'm not kidding, 1986, somewhere around there. And she just like, he just would come over and they would just sleep together and then he would be gone. And she went on like this for like a good, I don't even know, a long, long, long time. And, you know, he was married or he had other commitments elsewhere and like she was just accepting that you know what i mean now i don't know what her absolute reasons were i was a teenager i didn't know but she was just i just remember thinking to myself that's a weird situation and i used to say to my boyfriend who's this guy like i never met him and he would be like oh it's just like the guy that she spends time with and i was just like yeah but like he just comes in and out like he just comes and stays the night and then he leaves i don't know virgo i just kind of feel like i used to just kind of feel sorry for her you know i just used to kind of feel bad because she was she was a teacher and she was like a really she's so beautiful and she just had a hard time going and she was just kind of accepting 
this situation. I don't know what happened to her. You know, that was a long time ago, obviously. I mean, I know I'm only 29 now, so, you know, not that long ago. But yeah. <coughs> okay. Who's coming towards you is the King of Wands. Okay. You got a King of Wands just keeping their eye on you. They're watching you. Who is this person? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The past energy looks like um, a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But you've got a King of Wands coming towards you. And they are asking about you. Now, Virgo. This might just be the boost that you need to kind of just be done with something here. Okay. Um, let me see. Is there going to be a challenge for Virgo to be able to cross this threshold into a new uh, life of love? Let me say. Let me just ask, what is the challenge here? The challenge to reconcile in their minds. <laughs> well, the challenge, yeah, is there's going to be a challenge because your emotions might still be attached. You got these feelings going on here, you know. You, you might, some of you might just be kind of, you know, I'll just wait. Maybe he just needs a little time. Um, you know, he'll propose. I know he will. Or he will, you know, he'll make the offer. I'm just going to like wait, give him time and just treat him nice and just whatever. No, 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 Virgo. <laughs> No, I mean, you should always be kind, of course, but I mean, if you're going to like, listen, you do what you want. If you want to wait, I'm not guaranteeing anything here. If you want to wait, if you don't want to wait, I can tell you right now that if you decide, you know, I'm just done with this energy from this past. And if you've already decided that, look, the benefit is that you'll have now another, you'll have a new love opportunity coming in for you. Right? So... Out with the old and with the new, Virgo. I don't know. What's going on? Let me see what your advice is here, though. So, this King of Wands is coming in pretty soon. I would say going to be sometime around the third week of June. Okay? Third week of June. Somebody's coming in here asking around about you. Very curious with that Page of Swords. Very curious. That might be with this camera, looking at your pictures. Yeah, if they see you, if you're on like social media, checking you out. Um, maybe they have some friends, there could be some mutual friends showing a picture. They might see you on a dating site, if you're on a dating site, <coughs> vomit. <coughs> but definitely here, somebody else is watching you. Someone else is interested in you. Oh, look, you have the Page of Cups. So your advice here is, you know, talk to this person when they come in. You know, exchange those text messages. Um, be hopeful about new love. Absolutely. Be hopeful. Yeah, okay, let me see what's surrounding you. Let's see what's external to you right now. You're definitely going to get some communication, though, from a King of Wands. And this is not a past person. This is, well, this is someone new coming towards you. Okay. Let me see. What is external to Virgo at this time? Oh, okay. Well, Eight of Swords. Isolation. Self-imposed imprisonment. Feeling trapped. Okay. The fool in reverse. The ace. Oh, the ace of wands. So there's someone who's external to you right now. And I feel like this person. Um, they're breaking out of jail. <laughs> that's all I'm. That's what I'm. That's what I'm telling you. Whether that's figuratively or literally. There's someone external to you who has been in this mental prison for like, I don't even know, eight months, eight years, whatever this, eight days, eight weeks, I don't know. And I feel like this person, they might've been born, somebody born in 1980, this person with the fool in reverse, um, just, I feel like, <laughs> Virgo, I don't know who this is, but, they're breaking out of prison and they're coming in with this wand. Like somebody is really inspired 
to have some like new potential growth. Who is this? Uh, like th this is kind of like a torch is being lit under someone's butt to get themselves out of a very negative situation. And this is a situation external to you. It could be an Aquarius. It could be this King of Cups where this person is kind of like, you know what? F it all. I'm doing it. I don't even care. I'm just going to break out of this prison, the, this jail cell, whatever. And I don't have a plan and I don't know where I'm going to end up. I'm going to take a risk and it's going to be careless and I don't even care. If, if I get caught, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. This person gets inspired in some weird way, somehow, some way, to take this careless risk. Okay, Virgo. Is this this? So this might be a past person. And, and wouldn't it make, wouldn't it just be ironic? Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? It's like rain on your wedding day. What is that lyric? When you think you've met Mr. Right and then you find out he's married. I feel like um, it's ironic that you letting go and then somebody else coming into your life as soon as the opportunity arises. When you finally make a decision and you're going to get clear with yourself and you're going to let love in. That somebody here is like, oh, no, I got to move. I got to move. Someone's, they got like their butts on fire. Their feet are on fire. Uh, and it's, it's a bit of a desperate attempt, you know, like someone escaping out of prison. It's like desperation. Oh, look, the devil. Somebody like, oh, Capricorn energy there. Someone like super, super like hooked on you. Virgo, yes, can't let you go. And I guess it's them. I, I'm not sure if it's a past person, but it's not this new person because they don't wouldn't have any kind of an attachment to you because they're not in your, you know, there's you haven't they haven't come along yet. So it must be someone from the past who's, but I don't like that reason. You know what I mean? Like that's not a re like it's flattering, I guess, in some way, but. That's not what you're trying to have. You know what I mean? Don't. It's kind of like I see you. Like, don't come back to me because you can't let go. Come back to me because you've you've realized, and you want to try to make something work in a healthy way. Don't come back at me with this devil energy. Yeah, Virgo. Uh -huh. Let me see what your hopes and fears. What's going on here? What are you hoping for, Virgo? All right, you got the Empress. Some of you just want to have a baby. You want to get married. You want to settle down, have a baby, have a child. You know, some of you just want to get through that menopause and just settle into your lives and just be, you know, content sitting on. And some of you want to be retired if you're not yet and just being all up in your Queen Empress energy, having all that. Um, those nice clothes, you know, the, the, the live in that good lifestyle. That's what you're hoping for. You know, some of you want to be a grandmother uh, again or for the first time. But the Empress is like, I love the Empress, you know, because she is just full of abundance and she's fertile and she's, she's all about those new beginnings and, you know, um, caring for everybody and being able to she's got the venus sign there so being all up in the love you know and loving herself especially and that's that self-indulgence that you know we see right here okay focusing on self self-worth taking that time to heal doing that shadow work and appreciating the self some of you are trying to get somebody to appreciate you more than you're appreciating yourself and you know what? You'll always be seeking that approval. You have to start with yourself. When you start loving yourself, I mean, the magic happens when you really start loving yourself. It just does. And then this peace and contentment comes over you and you're good. You know, you're good. You're not, you're not out there chasing that approval or chasing people to get, you know, to, 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 to want to be with you or to like you. You just are like, you know, if they don't, don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Hey, what do you want me to do? You're, you're just like, okay, I'm fine. Whatever way it goes. Because, you know, you're loving yourself. You know, that's your hope. 
I, that's not a fear. <laughs> the, the only fear might be you doubting yourself. Can I ever get to that place? But that's, you don't listen to doubts. Don't ever listen to doubts. Because those are those devil messages just trying to tell you you're not good enough and the devil trying to keep you trapped and that negative mindset. No. All right, I want to see. What's the outcome going to be here for Virgo long term? Okay, the death card. All right, can be a Scorpio card. Let's see, what is the outcome? So the outcome is out with the old and in with the new, Virgo. Looks like you're... Virgo, you're moving on here. Look at this. New beginnings. You're making that, like you're going to transform. Self, the whole situation. Look at that. Temperance. Come into balance. Your angels being there, guiding you all the way. Being in that place of harmony with yourself, with others, with, I like to say, your inner circle. Um, I don't like to really say being in harmony with the world because that's uh, that's a high task to try to achieve. Just try to work on being in harmony with the self, your inner self, and and the people closest to you. Having that peace and that balance. Even your hormones, Virgo, are going to, I don't know, level out, <laughs> whatever that means. You know, having that like uh, hormonal... Uh, shift where everything just kind of like even keel it feels good there's peace and contentment and there's neutrality and it's like you're not on a roller coaster things aren't so high things aren't so low there's like after this change happens you transform into that i don't know if you were in or something i, I don't see this king of cups causing problems i might I, i'm more inclined yeah there's your sign i'm more inclined to feel like Either you put the cart before the horse, or you thought that this might have been something more than it could, than it really could have been. And it's not that someone didn't love you or care for you or something along those lines. Maybe somebody just wasn't capable and they tried, or you were just trying to cajole, cajole a relationship. Is that the word? Kid, cajole, like you know, pull a relationship forward because you wanted it maybe more than the other person was either wanted it or motivated to have or willing to give or even capable and and you know if that that's a truth you got to come to with yourself if that's your story you know what I mean um, if you were created a soul tie with this person and, and what that means is you know especially for the Virgo females if you laid down with this person that can become very addicting and that can really play with a with a woman's emotions you know it's not you know, yeah, guys, you, you should know better. But guys are just being guys, you know. But women have to protect themselves. They have to protect their heart because a guy can lay down with a lot of women and not create those soul ties the way women can, you know. So I just kind of feel like, Virgo, I don't know. That's a tough message for you. And I don't want you to um, think that I'm, you know, um, victim shaming or anything. I, I don't see there was someone here perpetrating any major... Um, offenses towards you. I just think that maybe you might have had someone in a much higher esteem that you than you had yourself in that high esteem. You know, rather than looking at your looking at that coin as if you know I'm worth it, I'm valuable, I'm I'm tremendously special. Um, you might have been putting someone else up there and keeping your focus on that. You might have been told. Maybe some at some point, you know, you need to get off this person because they're like you, you. You need to like calm, like <laughs> chill. Just keep it cool, Virgo. You need to keep it cool. Okay. So I mean, regardless, like I just feel like you come to this decision place in June where it's like, you know what? If they're not going to come in and really make that full-on offer, I'm just going to walk, and that's okay. You can completely do that, and it, it's nothing to get all like crazy and upset about or. You know, it, you can just say, it, you know what? Maybe we just weren't compatible. Or maybe I put them, I filled in some gaps that I, that because I really wanted this person to be with me. Maybe you did that to yourself, right? Instead of seeing like the clarity and the truth. And the thing with the Page of Pentacles is this is like the practicality. So shifting it around and saying, not looking at, you know, not looking at all the emotions or what you know you got pulled into but looking at the real reality of the situation 
Okay, this is only one pentacle. This isn't ten. And maybe somebody wasn't able to give you the ten. Okay, but, 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 you have new love coming in. You have someone else here who's tremendously interested. And let me just say, if you're going to have somebody coming in, the upright king of wands is, wow. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> it is. Um, I don't know so much about Sagittarius. Um, I tend to think they're a little cuckoo. But um, this is someone who's active. This is someone who's bold. They're a leader. Charming. They're, very, they're confident. They're funny. There's someone who's feisty, they're self-assured, and they, they bring a lot of passion and energy. And you, some of you might just be, I don't know, maybe you're just thinking too much. You need a little fire under your feet. A, a little, you know what gets, gets you out of thinking too much is taking action, right? Because let me give you an example, right? If, if you're sitting home and you're like, oh, this, and you're trying to figure this out, and you're all up in your head, and then you go out dancing, I'm sure you're going to forget about your problems when you're out there dancing, moving your feet, dancing, laughing, listening to the music, having a good time. Nobody's no, nobody's dancing on a dance floor <laughs> and trying to solve all their problems while the music's blaring. You know what I mean? Save that for another time. And, and this King of Wands comes in with, like, there's no time to think. We got stuff to do. We're going to go have fun this summer, especially at the start, start of June. Okay. So that's something positive, okay? And they have their eye on you. So you will be hearing from them. Oh, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. You know what? Messages of love. Let's take a look. Messages of love. Don't forget, if you want to get a personal reading with me or Brandy, Brandy's opened an, up. She's opened up two more night spots. So she pretty much is available at night. Well, the evenings, Eastern time. And I'm during the day. I have spots open during the day. I have opened up my booking site again. All right. Link is in the description box. Messages of love. Awakening. There you go. That's what I was saying. It felt like a wake up call. Okay. You're, you're going through some kind of transformation. It doesn't have to be super deep. It doesn't have to be spiritual. It, it could just be like waking the F up and saying, you know what? This isn't going anywhere. It's time for me to move on. All right. Let's see. What else do you have? Okay, soulmate. Oh, <gasps> Virgo, you're going to be connecting with a soulmate. Mm, yes. Now listen, I also want to tell you this past person was a soulmate too, but a different kind of soulmate. Okay. <coughs> Some soulmates turn into romantic long-term relationships. Other soulmates are just friends. Okay. You're going to have someone else coming in who's going to love you accept you respect you okay i don't know that this king of cups wasn't doing it i mean i guess he could go in a little bit deeper into their energy um but you know your story i don't see it i see that you know i see this king of cups was just coming in as a friend and that doesn't make them a bad person it really doesn't even make them a bad person if they wanted to sleep with you you know um you might view them as a bad person if you slept with them and then they didn't commit but virgo keep it real that's on you that's on you if you if you were sleeping with someone to get a commitment out of them shame on you for that <laughs> that that hurts you that doesn't hurt that person because they already got what they want right i know i'm being a little sassy and i don't mean to be but you know what listen there's an old saying how's it go Men give love to get sex, and women give sex to get love. And we're all human, and we all do it at some point in our lives. But let's try to change that, right, going forward. Let's try to change that. Let's try to say, I'm going to give you love because you want to give me love. And we're going to love each other back and forth. And, if, and, I, and I'm going to give you sex at, because you're going to give me sex. And then we're going to have that sexual relationship together, and love is going to be a part of it. How about that? How about we just change that narrative? Okay, wait. Virgo, calm, yeah, slow your roll. Calm down. It's coming. You've got, look, if you, if you, you know what? I'm going to just, let me spit it out. Even if you decide that you're going to wait for this person because you're not ready to end it, I hear you. Sometimes those things take time. And if that's in your posi the position that you're in in June, where you're like, well, 
like I said, maybe they'll turn around. Maybe things will be different. You know, I'm getting all these signs. Fine. If you want to wait, wait. Somebody is still coming in, though. Somebody new is still coming in, whether you wait or you cut it off. Now, for some of you, somebody new coming in who's exciting and bold and daring and sweeps you off your feet and, you know, makes you feel great and gives this has all this potential that might just be the the boost that you need to say no nah, i'm not gonna wait anymore let's go <laughs> you might get into that okay but like i said you do you do what you do you boo do what fits you do what's right for you don't let me tell you what to do i'm just here giving the advice don't 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 hate the messenger you can hate the message but don't hate the messenger all right Wealth, health, and abundance. Beautiful. That's that, listen, that's that empress energy, okay? She's all about her wealth. She's all about her health, and she's all about her abundance. Absolutely. Sitting pretty, looking good, feeling good, being in abundance. That's a Virgo thing, too. Even even wealth, health, and abundance can very much be an aspect of the of the empress, the, the Virgo aspect, you know? Um because Virgos are always um, very hygiene oriented, like to be clean, uh, like to look good, like to have like uh, lots of extra, like Virgos are the ones that go, listen, I'm a Virgo, I shop bulk. Let me tell you what, because somebody that I know always needs an extra roll of toilet paper, somebody I know always needs an extra something. So I fill my stuff up and then I'm, you know, and then I kind of like visit family members or friends i'm like hey i've got some extra stuff here if you need it like that's just me right it's not just abundance for myself but it's for like if if i don't know whatever if i'm going to just have if i have extra stuff i want to give other people right so i know some of you are like that you know or just giving little gifts or little extras <laughs> I'm, I'm i mean like i'm not really a big hey i bought you this you know 18 karat diamond gold uh, necklace or something i'm more like you need toilet paper you need paper towels i got you yep i got you you need some extra steaks i'm good i got it all in the freezer i'm that person because i'm gonna make sure you eat <laughs> i'll make sure you can wipe your butt with some very nice soft charmin tissue i'm just like that person i'll make sure you that you're good and you got all your necessities <laughs> i'm a weirdo i know don't hate the messenger and they say okay moving to a safe place beautiful some of you might be relocating maybe you already have over the weekend moving safe place can mean less crime safe place can mean um better security safe place could be something in your heart moving into um if you were in a relationship that just whatever you didn't feel safe in it getting yourself into a safe place energetically mentally as well in june for sure opportunity there okay hitting rock bottom and non-committal virgo i'm telling you some of you gonna have that wake-up call you're gonna hit that rock bottom and be like this this mother this fool is non-committal and I, they're just non-committal some of you you're gonna have that wake-up call and say i've been wasting my time trying to get this fool to wake the hell up trying to t show them that i love them try to show them that i'm there for them and and i'm giving and giving and giving and giving and this person's not budging this fool is non-committal i am done some of you are gonna get there in june and if that's your story and you get there i'm gonna applaud you because there's only so much you can do sometimes sometimes the only way people do change is if you're actually willing to leave you get like maybe a 50 50 chance they would there's no guarantee you know if somebody's just not in it from the beginning they probably won't it's the exception to the rule if they do but i could tell you right now if you're with someone and they're not even trying to make even tiny changes or try to help the relationship along for the better you're wasting your time you're wasting your time because your feelings are dictating to you when they should not be because your feelings are going they're not they're valid but they're not they, they shouldn't be running your life you got to be looking like your heart yeah right you, the only the only people in life that you should be giving that it should be a one-way giving one-way street is little children because they're not capable of being in 
They can't give the way you can as an adult. Little children or the elderly or people who are crippled or pets, right? That's the only one way giving and helping people, you know, like charity or, or you know, things like that. But when you got two adults in a relationship and that adult is capable of giving, but they're not, they're selfish. You got to go. But if they are not capable, then either you're dating a child or a cripple or an elderly person. I don't know what you're doing. You got to figure that out. <laughs> but you got to draw the line and stop trying to be the savior of this relationship. Takes two. It takes two to make a thing go right. It takes two to make it out of sight. All right, let me get going because I'm getting all my 80s and 90s stuff going on here. Where are we at? Chinese signs. All right, we're going to take a look at this new person coming in. Who is this King of Wands? Who is this? And you know, as I always say, you can reverse the rules or the uh, sex. Who is this King of Wands? Give me the Chinese sign for Virgo. Okay, you got a goat. Monkey. All right, you know what? It's not just the King of Wands. It's going to be, it could be both. Uh, you know what, Virgo? It doesn't matter. The new person coming, this, whoever I'm talking about here that you were connecting with before, this is who they are. Monkey, a goat. I'm sorry, they just said change it. Dog, rabbit, a goat again, tiger, dog again, rabbit again. Hello. You got a rat snake sneaky snake and a rooster okay could be you could be that person um or just one of you or it could be none and don't worry it doesn't mean it's not your reading all right let's get into let's see what names and stuff i could come up with what does spirit want you to hear the names i feel like i have an appointment to do something as i'm making this reading and it's pretty late i don't think i do I don't know. I feel like an urge. Like, oh, I'm supposed to be somewhere. I hope I didn't leave anything on in the kitchen. Like an iron or the stove or something. I'm very, like, I don't know if you Virgos are like this, but when I get into, like, a project or when I'm working, I, I have, like, tunnel vision. Like, I shut my hearing off. I can only see what's right in front of me, and everything around me just fades to black because I get so super focused on whatever I'm doing. Anybody do that? Like I, when I was a kid, my mom said I had ADHD or ADD, whatever. I don't know. It must have gone away because <laughs> I just get right into it. Okay, we got the letter H. Oh, wait a minute. Today's the last day of the full moon because so I am gonna attack onto this reading a real a little quickie of the full moon in Sagittarius. Hopefully you guys set your intentions for the strawberry moon. If you didn't go to my community page there on my here on my channel, I did put like um, this little, um, kind of like a little ritual, strawberry harvest full moon ritual. So check that out if you get a chance. Um, but this full moon, yes, okay. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from God or the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears and your unnecessary worries. Revelations that will make everything clear. The moon is going to play a huge role. Or has. And you, you may be listening to this and, you know, the full moon has already passed. But the, the full moon is going to play a huge role Um in your intuition and what you need to do going forward, Virgo. Okay, we've got the letter Z here. Um, somebody drives a 2Z. A 2Z. Okay. We also have a same-sex relationship happening here as well. Um, now, some of you, I'm just going to say this. <clears throat> and this is... This is um, one of the reasons you have someone that was not able to commit into a full committed relationship was because the person you were with was in the closet. And they were trying to not be in the closet, but they couldn't do it. 
And I'm just going to put that out there right there because this is going to be some kind of reading. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that wasn't you, Virgo. Were you trying to turn someone straight? You might have, you might not have realized. <laughs> but that's that's possible. You might have just been trying to get someone to like, come on, what are we doing? But no, that person was like in the closet, like, I'm sorry, I, I like I'm not ready to come out of the closet, but I'm not I can't be in this relationship because I can't stop thinking about I don't know, magic mic. You know what I'm saying? Just saying. Okay, let me see. I can't stop thinking about... Uh, I'm not getting into it. No, stop. Keep moving. Keep it moving. Okay. It takes two to make a thing go right. Um, Michael. Hello, Michael. And Mina. I just heard the name Mina. And I heard Miranda. Oh. Yeah, okay. They just said... Um, the Miranda, somebody's getting their Miranda rights. Hmm. Okay. Or somebody did. Now it does it could be you. Or somebody will be. Could be you. Uh could be someone you're connected to. I'm just or that maybe it already happened, I don't know. So, or maybe you're a police officer and you, you've given someone their Miranda rights. Or you will be coming up I mean that's not really predictive because if that's your job then hey that's your job um, but back to the name yeah I was picking up like oh and now they're just saying Meredith Meredith okay what else oh. hmm now I'm getting Lillian or Lily or Lee 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 okay and when I was talking about somebody being in the closet for those of you who are in a same-sex relationship it's the reverse okay it's a reverse situation okay uh -huh. All right, somebody has a black kitty, and some of y'all need to shave that kitty. The summer is here. Now, come on. Wax, shave, whatever you need to do. Like, get, the, get yourself cleaned up there, Virgo. I don't have to tell you. You know. But you might be. You know, some of y'all are listening to this while you're doing that. And, oh, my God. I don't need... That's too many visuals. I don't need to see that. Okay. Oh, somebody has a beardy... A beardy? Someone's got either a bearded dragon or a beard. Or, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I leave now? These, these Virgo people have got me like losing my mind. Someone is a beard. Okay. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> Someone is a beard. I, I mean, they keep bringing me back to this. I'm sorry. It's just like, <laughs> it's the way it's going. Holy moly. Let me just, let me finish up and get to the charms and be done with this. Okay. Someone's a top, someone's a bottom. I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't know. Um, okay. Oh, they're giving me that Lawrence. Someone's name is Lawrence or Larry. If any, like I'm going to leave the comments open on this reading because I'm just dying to read. I know, I can't imagine how many, I just wonder how many are going to be like, oh my God, I knew it all the time. I've always suspected, but I just wasn't sure. <laughs> okay, Larry. Larry's doing something. Something, something. Lawrence. Lawrence. All right, we've got Libra, Pisces, Scorpio, and Aries. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Somebody's 58 or 59, or the, the age is coming, or you just turned... Well, last year. And 9088. Okay. Um, okay, somebody, like, I don't know, you and another person, like, somebody's favorite movie, I think it's called 300. It's pretty old-ish, an older um, 
Was that like the Roman Empire or Vikings? I don't remember. I think it was called 300. There's a connection to that movie. You also have 3859. Um, 8800. 8800. Okay. You notice I'm not wearing my black gloves tonight. Okay. I think I need to get some new ones. Um, okay. Okay, September 2nd. September 10th, August 25th, August 21st, and 22nd. Now I know that those are Leo, but in some scenarios, I've seen it. I've seen it that there's Virgo energy there. So overall, that message is some, someone's a cusper. Someone's a Leo Virgo cusp. Okay, 1972 birth date. August 29th. Did I say September 13th? If I didn't, I am now. And September 7th. Okay. One more roll. Because we're on a roll. Okay. August 30th. That's been coming out a lot. Someone is born in 75. Someone is 55. Someone is 53. Someone is 43. We also have 34. Um, they're giving me the, the area code 306. Um, we have, all right, so it's either area code or the first three digits of a phone number. 306-755. And then the last four digits are giving me 3534. Okay. All right, let me get a charm. Oh, Virgo, your readings. There's always something, a little something, something with you guys. Always. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. Now I'm not gonna, I'm not, oh my God, are you kidding? Virgo, what the? All right, I gotta show you this. You know I'm gonna show you this. Oh, I also gotta do your, uh, you know what, I'm just gonna do it real quick. The full moon in Sagittarius. Now if you're listening to this and the full moon has passed already, that's fine. The, the, the message here from the time the full moon is up there in the black sky uh, and going forward, the message here is look at the bigger picture. And I feel like we've been talking about that, Virgo. If, if the full moon has not occurred yet and you're listening to this, it doesn't matter when. The message of the, the strawberry moon is for you to step back, like pan out, Virgo, zoom out see the whole picture don't see what you hope it will be don't see what you want something to be step back and look at it for what it is now I don't know what that means for you but I feel like that that going forward until the next full moon which will be July 3rd you have this whole month now for you to just like step back and look at the bigger picture or something here get all of it not just the bits and the pieces. Okay, here's the thing I wanna show you. So when I picked up the charms, I actually picked up one, two, three, four, five, six. And out of the six, two of them, which is very strange, two of them are fish bones. <laughs> okay? The odds of me picking up all, like all, of all the charms, two, the two of you have chewed the flesh out of this relationship. There's nothing left, like down to the bone. This is a strong message for you and this person that there is no meat left on these bones at this point, okay? Some of you might have just gotten yourself in such a stressful situation that the, the stress caused you to lose weight. And if that's the case, Virgo, that's an unhealthy weight loss. And if that's your situation, it's, you know, you gotta get out of this. If you're so stressed and you're not eating, you gotta get out of this. But I, this is the strongest message. This relationship has just, like there's nothing, now it's like vultures picking at the bones, right? There's nothing at this point. And maybe, maybe in the future things will be different, we don't know, right? But you can't, 
I just feel like you're trying to like resuscitate a dead horse and I feel like it might be time for you to get distance clear your energy because with these two like I just feel like you you both are just I don't know like vultures just picking away at this relationship and maybe you just got to leave it be okay so the other thing you have here you got a little footprint and a dash on dash on dash on one of those little hot dog dogs right in a footprint that is significant for someone. It's odd that the footprint and the little doggy showed up. Um, that is very significant for someone. And I don't know how. It could be very simple as that's the kind of dog you have. Or maybe you're trying to get a dog like that. Or you know someone that's got a dog like that. Or maybe that doggy passed away. And uh, you didn't get a chance to grieve that. Or it's not a prediction. Don't worry. I'm not predicting your, your pup is going to pass away. Somebody could be trying to give you a pup as well. But we talked about that in the last few readings. I mean, that's a desperation attempt to try to get you back in. And, and like I said, you do have someone external here to you who's like, mm, I can't let Virgo go. I'm going to come over and drop my pants and Virgo will surely stay. <laughs> and if not, um, oh, I'm going to give him the beef. I'm giving Virgo the beef. Virgo's going to get the hot dog. Yes, yes, yes. Virgo's not going anywhere after I give Virgo the beef. Okay, I'm losing my brain. I haven't had any coffee, so I don't want to hear about it. I haven't had any coffee. I'm just in a, I'm just in a, I'm in a mood. Um, maybe because the reading I did for Thursday, all about that earthquake, like, I don't know, it's, I'm keeping my eye, but I'm, I, I don't know, I came book back up for air. So you've got made with love. You've got like a little heart here that says made with love. So, um, Virgo, I just kind of feel like that's a, a, a little message for you. Um, you're worth something. You're worth more than whatever this thing was, okay? You were built. You were made with love. You were made with love. And when you're made with love, you're made to love, okay? Okay. You weren't made out of vain. You weren't created for no reason. You, you, you know, you weren't put on this planet to be unhappy. You weren't put on this earth to suffer. Virgo, like, stop. You weren't. You were put here. That's why the sun comes out during the day. You were put on this earth to go out and be happy. All right, and you also have a key. And this kind of looks like a skeleton key of some sort. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Maybe it's not. It's a Victorian key. That's also significant for someone. There's something here to do with, maybe you're going to get the keys to an, a Victorian house uh, or the key, the door unlocks for you to remodel a home. That's a Victorian home or remodel a home to look like because you, I did see you might be moving. This could be some type of um, antique of some sort also that you find somewhere, which would the wealth, health and abundance could be worth a lot of money right so you know look that stuff up virgo um this is also feels very royal to me as well like a royal key oh what does that look like to you you guys do you also see a snake or maybe a doggy's face this in my mind i know i saw someone in in my comments when i showed the starfish holding the ring <laughs> somebody wrote as soon as you said that i couldn't unsee it <laughs> like little starfish tambourine man you know in a little rock star band that's what i saw but i'm losing my mind all right virgo so that's the message that was long i hope you enjoyed that you know i'll be back here tomorrow same time same bat channel tune in and uh yeah that's it make good choices virgo be happy going forward i wish you all the best i'll see you back here very soon